Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 24th of November 2023. How are you doing this morning? If you have a hangover, I hope it's not too bad. Uh, if you don't have a ha hangover, have a hangover, <laughs> and you're in America, um, my, you have my sympathy. Uh, let's get on with the game of uh, the Guardians Sudoku for Black Friday in just a moment. The first time I ever had heard, the first, th the first time I ever, oh God, I can't speak this morning, and I don't have a hangover. Uh, the first time I ever heard of... Uh, Black Friday was uh, it's a Steely Dan song a track on a Steely Dan album and that I love and uh, I love that track as well although I have absolutely no idea what it could mean um, I guess Black Friday is like a bad day or something like that you know the lyrics of Steely Dan songs uh, don't quite make sense uh, <laughs> or they do in a kind of very un roundabout way and um but the thing that really puzzles me is that this has become a worldwide thing now. Uh, I guess that the Black Friday, the shopping experience, is because it's obviously the day after um, Thanksgiving in the US and retail in the US needed to boost its sales on such a day when people are relaxing or maybe they have a hangover or something like that and uh, not doing much and it's a great opportunity for us to sell things but why do we have it in thailand why do we why on earth do we have black friday in thailand it's come a, it's come across in the last few years i'm gonna say maybe not more than five years five years ago i don't think we had black friday but it's become a thing now uh, i suppose it's just because of online shopping i mean people can buy whatever they want to buy from across the world now and if they figure they're getting discounts in the US they better offer them here in Thailand a strange thing uh, very appropriately for Black Friday uh, it's there's an article in the Guardian claiming that uh, coal has caused the deaths of 460,000 Americans over the last 20 years because of its release of PM 2.5 that particulate matter which is damaging much of us across the planet. Here in Thailand, we have that problem, uh, in Bangkok particularly. I think ours comes from car pollution. Anyway, uh, I have no idea if the statistics are accurate or not. You can read more about it in The Guardian. If you've got nothing better to do today, shall we get on with our uh, hard-level puzzle from The Guardian's Sudoku corner today? <clears throat> I'm going to start with sevens, like so. And I did see something. What was the other thing that I saw? Oh, there is two blocking up here and here with the two across there. That's what I noticed to begin with. And uh, that's all I've seen so far. Um, oh, there's a four up here and a four across there. And now we've got one and eight uh, in a line, in a column here. And so that's going to put one and eight into those squares there. I don't know how that helps. Let's have a look. See, does it, does it do for the ones anything much? Uh, not that I notice. How about the eights? Does it do anything for the eights? Yes, eight blocks across here and eight blocks up there. So that's going to be an eight there. <coughs> Uh, I suppose we should investigate along here as well, shouldn't we? Uh, this is one and eight in those squares. So here we're looking for two, three, five, six, two, three, five, six. So fives are obviously over here. Sixes are here. Twos are at the ends and threes I don't know yet. Ah, 
Looks like there aren't any threes on the grid. Oh, okay. Hang on. What did I say? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, so this is, in fact, if that's one and eight, this is going to be three and six. So we don't have any threes yet. Okay, three and six here. So we've got the six blocking across here. So that will be our six. And this will be our first three for the board. Uh, and up here, what are we looking for? Um, seven and something. So we've got a blocking seven there. There's our seven. And this will be a five. Fives block across and up and up. Uh, seven blocks up here and seven across here puts seven into one of those squares blocking across here across here and up there so that's a seven <clears throat> down here we have sevens there's a seven and seven up to the top finishes them off. Excuse me. I think I'm going to click on the digits and see what we can see. Now I know that ones are like this and like this. Fours don't look like I can solve them just yet. Too many places up here. A pair of fives there. Okay, six across here, across here, and up there. So we can get a six there. Six up here, up here, and across there means that's a six. <coughs> six across here, across here, up there, that's a six. We're left with sixes like this. Eight blocking up here and across there, there's an eight. <clears throat> nine up here with a nine across there. There's our nine. 
9 across here and here, there's our 9. Nine blocking this square, nine blocking this square, nine blocking this square. In this row, that's our nine. Two blocking this. Oh, no, I'm not missing a two. I thought I was missing a two in that row. It's one, three, five. My apologies. I was looking at the wrong thing. But fortunately, didn't act on it, so that's okay then. Four blocks this square. We don't have four in this row yet. Let's put that in. This will be a three. Let's see, down here we have 6 and 9 blocking down, that's a 6 and 9 there, so this has to be 1 as one of our missing numbers, so that is going to be our 1, and that is going to be our 8 now, so 8 blocking up here and 8 across here means that that is our 8. Four blocks up here. There's our four. This is our three. Three blocks across here. There's our three. This is our one. One blocks across here. There's our one. The missing number here is a four. <coughs> Um, where to now? Ones are in those squares. Uh, three blocks across here and three down here gives us three in one of these two squares. So blocking this way and the three there means that that must be our three. Five blocks this square. We need a five in this column. That must be our five then. And this will be our nine, I think. Nine across this row, this row and down this column. Didn't need to do all that, but anyway, never mind, it's done now. This would be a six, won't it? Because we did earlier on put six and nine in those squares. I it's come back to me. Six across there, six down there, there's our six. Three blocking all the way down there puts the three into that square. 3 and 5 block across here. That's going to put 3 and 5 into the... No, actually, we can do better than that. 5's blocking across here. That's going to put the 5 there. 3 across here. There's our 3, and this will be a 1. Three blocks this square. We need a 3 in this row, so that will be the 3. This will be the 1. <coughs> Five blocks this square. This must be our five for this column. The last number in this column is a two. Two blocks across here. There's our two. Two across here. There's our two. Two this way, two that way, two down there. 
or just look along here and see what's missing and it's a two the same thing you'll find one goes here one across here one blocking down here there's our one one down and down gives us that one there there's one more number left for this column which i think is a four uh, we also have four blocking down here so there's our four and eight is the last number here we also have eight blocking across there there's our eight and we finish with a three so that's our guardian black friday hard level sudoku puzzle over and out. i hope to get another game today at least one more with a bit of luck bye bye